In Nigeria, where corruption undermines democracy and weakens public institutions, the media plays a pivotal role. The media and journalism cohort equips journalists and media organizations to uncover corruption, hold leaders accountable, and reshape how citizens engage with their government. Our own cohort, which is the media and journalism cohort, and we are, as the name implies, organizations that are working directly as news media organizations, foundations for journalism and media. We are also, you know, advocacy groups that support media work. We are institutions of um, journalism that teach students of journalism. We help to ensure that those that are in positions of authority do their job. And when they don't do their job, we call them out. We help citizens to understand what um, the responsibilities of people they elect into office is, what their responsibility is as citizens, and how to combine this role um, to build a country that is strong, prosperous, and that works for the majority of people. Each member of the media and journalism cohort plays a unique role in combating corruption by using different strategies. Whether it's training new journalists, creating investigative reports, or amplifying the voices of citizens. The role that we played in this project is to build the capacity of journalism. We organized training programs and conferences. Uh, for instance, we had to train journalists in the craft of investigative reporting. Our own approach is to make sure that those who are passing through us have the requisite skills and training that by, as soon as they graduate and when they are, they are into the field, they need little or no training to be able to venture into investigative journalism. For us and for the projects that we run under the MacArthur Foundation, it's to reduce or strengthen anti-corruption and accountability efforts by amplifying investigative reports on the radio and through social media. We engage them in a kind of town hall meetings so these town hall meetings will bring an issues either based on the investigation by journalists in that particular you know, area or an issue that has to do with constituency projects by lawmakers in which you know, the communities will now come and uh, say whether that project they monitor was executed fully or abandoned or whatever. These town halls Members of our audience are now, they are now part of the mainstream investigation in the sense that they are empowered to ask leaders questions. Questions uh, regarding campaign promises, questions regarding policy statements, and many other questions. Through these efforts, the media and journalism cohort has created a ripple effect, leading to significant changes in communities, institutions, and government policies. A town hall meeting was uh, organized, all the um, stakeholders in the power sector were invited to PEGI and all of those issues surrounding uh, how the community funded reticulation of power to each household was uh, corrected. And uh, I must confess to you, uh, PEGI community is like Aso Rock because we enjoy 18 to 21 hours uninterrupted power supply till date. A question was asked to the former president, Buhari, on how inclusive his administration was in 2015. And with the disability bill in his office, what has he done on the bill? That same week, through the town hall meeting organized by Daria Media, the bill was turned to an act. Now, Nigeria has a disability act. In June 2023, we published a report that looked into what was happening across four different highways and how many checkpoints were existing there, how much the people at the checkpoints were collecting. And we realized that in a year, up to 100 million naira was being collected from people plying those routes. And after the investigation was published, we got it amplified on Primog which is coincidentally also a beneficiary of the MacArthur Foundation and a member of the cohort. Primog was not going to let that story go. We took it up and we wrote to the Nigerian army, we wrote to Road Safety. There were so many organizations and MDAs mentioned in that story. We wrote to all of them. 
I was able to conduct so many investigative stories. Like after my participation um, in female uh, investigative reporting, training with Women Radio, I conducted a 5K illegal abortion for minors in JOS. And I also conducted a climate change report in JOS uh, on the impacts of flooding on women and children. A newspaper um, um, of the organization has benefited in terms of capacity development in investigative uh, journalism skill. In, in the course of working with Wale Shenka, we've done like over 245 stories, about 30% of them are investigative, while others are focused on accountability issues. The media and journalism cohort has also focused on building sustainability, ensuring that the fight for accountability continues long after the grant ends. Our own is an institution. We train. So training is naturally going to be continuous. Like this TV station, this is a station that is funded by MacArthur. We are on satellite and we have a commercial license. A commercial license that we can generate advert revenue. Even though we're not for profit, but we can sustain and continue to produce program that will be impactful on the life of the people. Our network is another way that we sustain ourselves because that network, we are able to leverage on that network for the resources that money cannot do. For instance, the legal support you need in journalism. Sometimes it is given pro bono through the network. We are able to also network to get to know other donors or get to know other works that we can connect to, to do the work. The media and journalism cohort's efforts have been greatly facilitated by the MacArthur Foundation's support and vision. Their initiative has enabled media organizations to advance investigative journalism and drive meaningful change. We all know that when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. And that is where we keep thanking MacArthur. Because for some of these investigative reports that we were able to do, I don't think if we could have done them without their support. Over the years, because we stayed through, we have now have, you know, almost 10 more organizations that are focused on investigative reporting across the country. So we have been able to do more with the support from MacArthur Foundation. Some of our content has had a material impact on policy making. Some of our content has had a material impact in uh, setting the agenda for conversation nationally and promoting laws, in fact. I think it's a testimony to the quality of the work we do and its longevity. With the collaboration, innovation and determination fostered by the media and journalism cohort, the foundation for change has been laid. The impact of their work is being felt across Nigeria, from empowering journalists to strengthening institutions. Collaboration is key. And that was why it was such a great thing that we had these cohorts. Because we started working together. That even when this whole project ends, that spirit of collaboration will, will continue. Without the umbrella created by MacArthur, that wouldn't have been possible at all. So it's not just about the money. Money is not enough to solve some of the ambitious problems we are out to solve. You need the quality of the people we have at Premium Times, Daily Trusts, Slack Rapper, and all that. It's been um, an interesting experience. It's been positive for us, in as much as it's not all the investigative reports that the government acted on, but the little ones that the government acted on, we consider that as a success. No, for us, the, the, the experience has been overwhelming. In terms of capacity development, in terms of organizational structural development, uh, program management. We've, 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 we've moved from where we used to be. We would not have had the opportunity of relating with some of other sub granting the 26 NGO within that. So it's, it's, it's awesome. I want to say thank you to Bakato for that opportunity and Bolo in at the end of the day. The media and journalism cohort has proven that journalism isn't just about reporting the news. It's about holding power accountable, amplifying the voices of citizens, and creating real change in society. Through their efforts, they have reshaped the media landscape in Nigeria, building a foundation of transparency and accountability that will endure for years to come.